Well, hello there, Commander Tom. Camila, reporting for duty. Greetings, Camila. Welcome to Planet X. Yes, we have a very important mission for, for you today. Thank you for your help. This is a complicated mission with several steps, and it will take a high degree of avatar operator skill. First, make your way to the station hatch. Locate the switch to open the hatch. Flip it to the on position. Go through the open hatch and traverse the planetary surface. You will eventually reach the power station. At the power station, locate the full power canister and put it in the canister slot. This will transfer power to light up the final area, our asset storage. Maneuver to the asset storage and using the drill, open the access hatch. Reach inside and there you will find several rocks. Identify the rough rocks by touch. These are your energy abundance rocks. Pull out an energy abundance rock and your mission is complete. Now I know that's a lot of instructions. How do you copy? Let me make sure I understood correctly by repeating the instructions. I will first navigate over to the switch. I will flip the switch to the on position so I can open the door. I will navigate to the uh, power uh, station. I will retrieve the full power canister and place it in its correct position. I will then be able to navigate over to the access door. At that point, I will use the drill to be able to um, open the door, and then I will locate the rough rock, and that will be my energy abundance rock. How copy? That's correct. Thank you, and hurry. The clock is ticking. Thank you, Commander Tom. Navigate over here. I'm going to turn. And I'm going to attempt to get close to the switch here. I'm going to lower my arm into tuck position. Get as close as I can to the switch. Then I'm going to close my gripper. And I'm going to use this arm bring up the switch. Perfect. I'm going to go back. It looks like I opened the door, which is great. I'm just going to head. Try to align myself so that I can go straight ahead. Bring my arms up into some tuck position. Run into. Okay, now I need to be able to locate the full canister, which should be a bit heavier. So I'm going to 
first reach for this one and see if it happens to be full. I'm going to stretch over here to the right a little so I have better access to it. Okay. First, close Swiffer, then this one. Okay, so it looks like this one has a max weight of 755. Let's see if the other one is the right one. I'm going to not rotate, stretch to the right. Able to try to grab this canister. Oh, this one is much heavier. So it must be my full one. I'm going to move here to the right, not let go, and be able to place the canister. Going to be to go for the right handed drill with my left arm. Just strive to the left, get a little closer. I'm going to go for this drill here. up. Okay. So now I'm going to maybe turn back up. Turn again. Make my way to the access panel. Okay. Turn a bit so that I can So the round of applause is clear for a team that is uh, moving through this course with alacrity, 9-13 to the Rock Challenge. Uh, two points from Mission Command, so maxed out on points right now. One challenge left, the Rock, which Pollen was able to get to yesterday. So this is about improving on their time from yesterday. And currently there's about two and a half minutes of room to improve the time. Okay, I have some haptics. Yeah, there was a... Uh, some sort of like reset or reboot as they were halfway down their their 75 foot commute as I like to call it um, <laughs> that did take away from the, some of their time so I'm hoping that they can still turn it around and beat their time from yesterday. It is that overhead display is still one of their best the, the user operator interface to my mind one of the cleanest in the entire competition. I agree I really like what they have and in particular I think when you get to that energy storage device it, it it's, um, leaps and beyond what we've seen so far at yeah. least. 
and I think you know, as a kid of video games, uh, those bars make a lot of sense to me. Those compasses make a lot of sense to me. Uh, Ed Colgate, by the way, one of the judges, is here at the desk with us. Uh, for those who are in house, he's been on the floor uh, for a lot of this competition. Um, Ed, what's been the? Well, there's a lot of floor wrangling judges. What's that role? Hang on a second. Can we get the all the way up. Try again. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to pick that rock up. We'll come back to Ed in a minute. We seem to have a little uh, mic thing we need to sort out. Yep. Uh, we'll get that worked out, though, without a doubt, and then we'll get things working. But uh, meanwhile, the rock is in hand. Now, with, again, that cloth could be an issue on the withdrawal. It is not. 10. 50-ish, we'll see what the official time is. I'm giving you just the, you know, the unofficial time on site is 10.50, but no matter what, that is gonna shave over two minutes off of Pollen Robotics' run yesterday. So, even if they don't get a perfect judging score at five points, they have improved their time by nearly, uh, let's see, 13, 20, two and a half, two and a half minutes. Unofficial, again, nobody hold me to it. I'm not the I'm official scorekeeper. <laughs> Oh, and the rock drop from Ricci. That was a, uh, take that. I, I, was, I'm in the club. A, it was a rock drop, like double pink rock club drop. Double pink rock club, <laughs> no mic to drop, so Ricci <laughs> drops the rock. That's, I think that we just, is that, that was oddly rhythmic. Uh, 